So let us discuss about these two uh, problems on al halogenation of uh, phenylic boronic reagents. Uh, this is one of the very important concepts which you should know because a uh, question comes from this topic and uh, you can see the second question this is actually question from the gate exam and all these four reactions are related that's why I am discussing all of them together. So the initial steps of both of this reaction is the hydroboration reaction so if you have alkyne after hydroboration you will get these two so what i am trying to say is let's say you have this alkyne terminal alkyne and if you do hydroboration with r to bh you will get this similarly you can get this from the alkyne but uh, that you all know and i am not going to discuss that here what I'll discuss here is how you can get these two different uh, stereochemical outcome. For example, here uh, bromination with this condition, first step bromination in CCL4 and then treatment with hydroxide will give you this trans, uh, sorry, this cis product where this R dashed group, this R dashed group and this brominous cis. But when you do the reaction with iodine and slightly different condition, in this case you are using base and this uh, halogen into di different steps. But here you are using iodine and NaOH in the same step and you will get, uh, instead of getting in any iodine in your compound, you are getting this R group and this R dash, they are cis to one another. So this is a totally different reaction from the first one. And in the second case also you can see, depending on whether you are using iodine or bromine and whether you are using the halogen in the second step or in the first step you get you will get iodine in trans or bromine in the cis position so all these stereochemical outcomes i will discuss so let us discuss the first problem here so in the first problem you are given with this one r dashed and here you have br2 like this okay so i'm not writing the hydrogens for clarity now in the first step you are giving uh, bromine in ccl4 right so what you, it will do it will first create this cyclic bromonium ion and this r dash will be below the plane whereas this br2 it will be above the plane right because this is away from us and this is towards us now you are not giving NaOH in the same step so in this step you will have one Br- minus because how the attack will take place it will attack here and one bromide you will have so this bromide will now open this cyclic bromonium ion right and it will open this ion from this side why because this side is sterically hindered due to the presence of this Br2 group so it will open like this and you will have bromine here you will also have bromine and now you have this r group and this br uh, b r2 right so in the next step you have naoh so now the oh minus will attack where the oh minus will attack it will attack on this boron so if it attacks on the boron you will get Br2OH and here you have this bromine here you have another bromine and here you have this R test now you will have negative charge over here right so now actually uh, elimination reaction will take place but for the elimination reaction this bond will break and this bond will break so their anti periplanarity is required so that's why rotation will take place so this r dash will be in the same place this bromine will be here but to become anti this bond rotation will take place and you will have boron r r and oh here you have minus now you can see if you do this kind of rotation what you will get you will get this bromine uh, below the plane like this and now if the elimination takes place you will get this r dash and this bromine in the same side so this is the product you will get out of this reaction 
so if you can't see you can see this is the product so this r dash and this bromine they are cis to one another whereas for the second case where i had this r dash this br2 and now you are giving i2 NaOH in the same step so similarly first you will have this iodonium like this and here you have this boron and r2 but now you have the NaOH in the same step so instead of attack from i minus OH minus will attack right and where OH minus will attack it will attack on this boron so you will have this so in the previous case you didn't have this OH minus in the same step that's why the bromonium ion opening occurred but now uh, sorry we have this so now you have this uh, iod uh, oh minus in the same reaction medium and that's why it will attack in the same step now after this you can see now this boron is carrying negative charge so that's why migration of this r group will occur from here to here and it will open like this so what you will get out of this reaction is iodine here you have this r dashed here you have this r and here you have this b r o h like this so this is the thing you will get now again for the elimination to take place the anti periplanarity of this and this group is required so this iodine is already here and i am putting this r group r dash group also here now if you rotate this bond this b r o h will come here and on doing so what you are doing so you are rotating like this so this r group will go below the plane like this now o h minus will come it will attack here and this is how the e2 elimination will occur and out of this reaction you will get this r dashed and this r group in the same side because you can see this both are below the plane this wedge bond represents both are below the plane so they are in the same side so this is how you get to different product in this case you can see you get this product whereas in this case you can see you will get this product so in the first case incorporation of bromine occur whereas in the second case there is no incorporation of iodine rather incorporation of this r group occur from the boron part right so this is the thing now let us talk about the next question the next question is this you have this r group and here you have this boron but in this case you have some cage boronic compound and here the first reaction condition is in the first step you are giving naoh so what it will do naoh this oh minus will attack on this boron so initially it will form BOH and here we will have negative charge you have R group over here right now you are giving I2 so what it will do it will form the iodonium ion and you have this R group below the plane whereas this BOH minus it will be above the plane like this right so you're thinking this will happen but sorry this will not happen here instead there will be an exchange of this bc bond and this i2 bond so what you will get out of this is you will get i and this r so because negative charge is here so now this bond this carbon center becomes very much uh nucleophilic so this bond if you now open the iodine like this so this bond will attack on iodine like this and another iodine will go so here the iodonium ion formation will not occur iodonium ion formation will occur only when this boron is neutral because here you have negative charge so this carbon terminal becomes very much nucleophilic and it will easily attack on a good electrophile like iodine so you will get this trans product out of this right so this trans product you will get here 
but what about the next reaction condition that is when you give bro, uh, bromine in the first case we are giving bromine in the first place so then of course you will form this bromonium ion right so you will form this bromonium ion like this in the second uh, reaction condition so in the first step you are giving bromine and although i didn't mention the solvent should be ccl4 so of course after this step you have this bromide ion so now it will open this like this so you will have a trans product like this and this r group is below the plane whereas this boronic group is above the plane like this so this is the thing you will get now in the next step you are giving NaOH right so in the next step you are giving NaOH so this NaOH will attack on the boron center so it will be like this here you have bromine but now you have this boron and here you have OH you have minus because this OH adds to this boron you have minus here now again for elimination to occur this bond and this bond sorry this bond and this CBR bond and this C boron bond this should be anti periplanar so that's why bond rotation is needed now I put this R group same as before and this bromine over here and now if I rotate this boron will go here you have OH so on doing so what you are doing you are placing this bromine another bromine below the plane right so now you have minus and this elimination if takes place what you will get out of this so you will get this R and this bromine in the same side so you can see these two are cease to one another whereas in the previous case we have this iodine and R in the transposition so depending on whether you are adding NaOH first or whether you are adding bromine first the reaction outcome will differ so this is the two cases so you can see now in the first reaction we get these two products and in the second reaction we get these two products so i hope that you understood the concept behind this uh, actually these four problems so uh, during the stay in home i hope that you will enjoy this video thank you for watching